So with the new release of Vice within Valorant Patch Notes 9.04, Riot has definitely implemented a very creative character within the ranks of the Sentinel rule. She's a bit different compared to Cypher and Kildre, where they really rely on get, gathering a lot of information, providing information throughout the map for your team. However, Vice provides a different perspective where she can provide a lot of trap plays on site, and she's probably one of the very first Sentinels to provide so much initiation. Vice is very much a initiator Sentinel hybrid. She has aspects of Sky within her kit, and she has aspects of Breach. However, I don't think she will be particularly replacing anybody in the Sentinel role, but I won't be surprised if her role in the future, especially in the pro play or in future rank settings, is you're going to have two Sentinels and it's going to be Vice with either Cypher or Killjoy and replacing the double initiator with Vice instead. Just to give you a heads up, everybody, the next two segments of this video is going to be an overview of the abilities and my thought process between offense and defense when it comes to Vice. So if you want to skip to potential setups in Valorant on different maps, don't be afraid to hit that like and subscribe. Then go hit that time zone down below and I'll take you directly to the first map. So let's talk about her kit. Her kit is actually pretty simple. Uh, one, you got her signature ability where you can apply a specific location for a flash anywhere on the map however the catch is it's very similar to a cypher cam where in specific locations where it's like so far up you're restricted from placing it like in most situations you can pl place it pretty easily and as simple as that however you can also like i said before you can throw it through a wall next we have the barbed wire and barbed wire is actually pretty similar to the sage slow however if you go through it you get a tiny bit of slow like the Sage Orb. However, the more you go through it, the more damage you take. I believe it's 16 ticks for enemy, and I believe it's two ticks for teammates. Next, you got the Impenetrable Wall. So if I was an enemy and I walk through it, this wall will go up and it will block me off from the um, my rest of my teammates. So for the future of this game, I, I really see Vice as an aspect of a person who would definitely replace any initiator, like more like a secondary initiator on a team. Um, going forward, I don't think I'll see Vice as a, so a solo Sentinel on any map. I'm more of a fan of double Sentinels, especially when it comes to Vice comps. Definitely not solo Sentinel. Not saying that her solo uh, Sentinel abilities is anything bad or anything. I just don't think compared to Killjoy or Cypher, that's her area of expertise. So how would I would use these abilities effectively on defense? So on defense, I have the mindset of when you're isolating or analyzing a choke point that you're definitely setting up on vice, you want to make sure these flashes that are coming towards the enemies are going to be in direct lines towards where the enemy's facing. So if I'm coming this way onto a site, I want to apply the flash either somewhere here, 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 here. or anywhere high. So when my enemy comes through triggers the wall i triggered the barbed wire i get a flash he's shrewd he can't run and it's a free easy kill however you also want to be more creative you're de it's definitely like a cypher trip where the more you use it on one singular location the more obvious it's going to be and the more likely you're going to get punished in the future especially with the direct counter to this wall in particular is a yoru clone this yoru clone will trigger the wall and like bait it out so for example i might maybe fly the wall maybe further back so bam so a set of this wall i might apply this wall and it's a little further back so if i if the enemy is here they're about to hit the choke point it's going to be a very much harder for them to see so once they run out they're screwed and then i'll maybe throw a barbed wire here bam flash easy kill so how would I apply Vice in a situation uh, definitely on the offense where a lot of the other Sentinels do struggle? Well, as a Vice, especially with the hybrid characteristics of an initiator, I'm going to definitely use the ability of uh, my flash throwing through a wall, my flash. So when I go here, I'll just tap it. And if I hear anything, I pretty much just cleared out here, 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 anybody directly in front of the flash. 
and I don't have to clear out these locations. That's what makes Sky, or that's what made Sky a very repressive and very popular agent, especially when Sky was one of the meta picks, especially for the agent, because of the rechargeable flashes. Now, you have a rechargeable flash, flash. as long as it doesn't get destroyed, it's on a 20 second cooldown, and I'm ready to go. Now, let's break down certain map setups per map. So, let's start with Lotus. Because that's the first one in the queue, especially for um, <laughs> for custom games. Uh, for Lotus in particular, I don't really see, especially on the defensive side. I think this is probably her weakest uh, portion of the map. Um, I don't see that many good sites maybe you can take. Now for eco rounds, or sorry, for pistol rounds and just general gun rounds, I definitely can see an argument for here. Now we wait. And then maybe a barbed wire here. And a barbed wire here. Now, the reason why I'm throwing a barbed wire inside the rotating door area or tree area, whatever it's called, what you want to call it. Um, it's just to prevent the flood on enemy teammates when especially when they come through door and doing a split push. This is a basically about isolating gunfights. And so if I throw a barbed wire here, most likely in rank, they're not going to push through the barbed wire because people are wimps and they don't like taking damage. So, And the reason why I throw a flash here is just so when I pop here, the enemy's coming this way, they're going to hit sight. Okay? They're going to try to hit sight. And most likely, I'm probably going to be playing here, watching door, or I'm playing over here. So once the door is activated, I'm going to pop. Uh, razor wires and then bam now this is actually one of my favorite setups actually on this map now especially this is especially for people who like to plant in this box yeah. this is actually a more common uh, plant spot when it comes to this box so what i'm gonna do is throw my wall here this is really good on eco rounds too by the way i'll throw my wall here i will throw my barbed wire up here Throw my barbed wire back Plenty over force. here. Throw a simple flash over there just for the bait. And then maybe I'll take a judge or something. And so when they tricked my wall, I activate the barbed force. wire. I'm This is a freezy kill, guys. But next on B, um, there's not that many good locations on B. I think the pretty much default wall is actually pretty much good enough. And especially throwing a flash maybe like right here. Throwing one slow here. And as soon as the wall thing goes, let's just say I have a vandal. The wall is popped. I pop the barbed wire, pop the flash. Easy, maybe one or two kills. However, if you feel like this is pretty obvious of a wall, um, you can probably pull it back just a bit more. Maybe get a funneling system here. Maybe throw a barbed wire here. Throw a barbed wire here. So when they go through, they're going to see this gap and they're going to get funneled maybe into the choke while this currently right here is a free easy kill. I can now pop this barbed wire for protection because again, people are scared to run through these barbed wires. They're afraid. Now, these are just simple setups. They're not seeing too serious. However, you can probably do the exact same situation over here. The problem is, like I said before, when I'm talking about my guide, especially when it comes to stairs locations, it is a bit finicky. Except for this. This is actually pretty easy. So if somebody plants here, you can probably just come out of here for the freezy kill. I would say maybe this is okay. However, you just gotta be worried about here. So uh, maybe I would do like double barbed wire over here. And instead of a flash here, I would actually throw a flash over here. So the flash over here is to deter anybody from here peeking. And when I pop my flash, I can, I, I'm can i isolating this kill because they're going to be looking over here, preventing or predicting that somebody's going to peek. And now they're in a line, they're in line of sight of my flash. Next, we're off to C. Now, C is probably one of my favorite sites, definitely on this map. Um, we got the simple trip. Nothing too, nothing too hard. 
And then I would honestly, I would actually rather put my barbed wire over here and then maybe like one default right here. While I throw a flash, I would hop over these boxes. Simple, easy flash. I activate my barbed wires once the uh, door is tricked. Bam. Bam. This barbed there. wire is to prevent them from funneling directly to this location on the site. There. This barbed wire is to trap them in this specific location. And once the wall is trapped, I flash. Bam, bam. Simple, breezy kill. Next. Now this wall is a bit tricky to do. And you have to be extremely lucky. So I would probably throw my wall here. There. However, I would definitely try to play like right here. Now, the trick is this is probably going to be needed probably majority of the time. So this is might not work as well. However, maybe this, this might work, especially for preventing people from flooding on. I know this location is common. There. When it comes to um, planting the bomb for our day. However, I prefer this wall in particular. It gave you some extra time. And I would not throw my flash up here. I would actually throw my flash. Because this is all about making trap plays with judges, pretty much. I think other than Cypher and Omen and any smoke players, I would say Vice is probably one of the best judge players. If you know how to play her correctly. Oop. Leg. And then, I would throw my flash up there. And once the round's activated, bam. I can just swing with the judge. I got my weapon. And even over here, they are going to get flashed too. Next we have Haven. And Haven's pretty simple. I wouldn't say there's anything really broken on A. Um, basic walls here. It's really hard to prevent anybody to actually be pushed onto the site. So I will probably throw one barbed wire here. There's a glitch on the wall or something like that. Um, I would probably throw at the end of the wall or at end of the round. I would probably throw a bar bar down there. And most likely people are people are really stupid right now at the current moment with Vice. People will shoot the barbed wire because they think it's going to be activated as soon as they're nearby. But yeah, so people will shoot it and they'll notify you. Then you can just pop this one there to prevent them from flooding onto site. This wall in particular, I would probably just throw there. one up here, a flash up there, and more, more on ping, there. but I'm just too lazy to go up to heaven. And then I would ice light this kill, bam, barbed wire popped, and prevent there. people from flooding through a sewer. For this, I'm going to throw my wall here, actually. Barbed wire here. Basic premise of this wall, and then I'll throw my second barbed wire actually over here. The basic premise is, once the people are fl uh, funneling onto site, they're going to activate this wall. There is absolutely nowhere to hide, especially with this. If you time it properly, bam, our wire, free easy judge kill. Next we have B, and I, I will say probably B is probably the weakest when it comes to her site. Um, there's not really that much angles you can do. You can probably do something crazy off one of these or something. I wouldn't say these are amazing walls in particular. But I would say if you're going to play B, I would honestly save your flash. Throw that here. Um, and then I would probably do a flash garage or something like that. Well, with a uh, trap right here. That's what I would probably do if I was doing a basic setup like here. So if they're pushing me, the walls activate it, bam, pop it, swing. Now you're dry swinging. They don't know. They have a 50 50 chance of which side yeah. you're peeking from, but the odds are in your favor as long as you play it correctly. When it comes to garage, um, most likely I would only recommend setting up in garage if you're going to do a, a pretty easy trap play. And when I say trap plays, I mean judge plays. Let's be serious. Throw your flash up here. Set up with your judge over here. You have your judge. Balls activate it. Flash. Swing. That's the only thing I can think of. Maybe throw a barbed wire here. They can't really see it over here. When it comes to C sites, uh, this is actually probably the best site when it comes to uh, Vice. 
So you get the basic default wall you can do over here. Definitely mix them up between the two. Maybe throw one here to prevent a funnel. Um, you could also put one right here, maybe. Bam. When it comes over here, I would recommend throwing a flash up here or throwing a flash in this corner over here. And when they're peeking, they're, they got flashed instantly. And most likely, they're going to funnel over here. And so then maybe you have a barbed wire here to get some additional extra damage or something like that. So that's what I would probably do. I'll probably throw one here and I'll throw one here and bam, bam. And you can punish a lot of people going into your spaces. Next, I have probably my favorite trap plate. I, I initially thought of this as soon as it came out. I have not seen anybody else do this. This is probably my favorite trap play. Like, like I said, I would even recommend doing this once in a while if they're hitting C pretty hard. Now I throw my wall there. I would throw my barbed wire on the box. Ignore this barbed wire. And then I would also throw a, there's a random barbed wire here. And then I set up my flash up here. I would actually Throw my flash right here. So the basic premise is this. The wall is to prevent anybody from planting the bomb in C default. So what I like to do as vice is camp back here, especially with the judge. So let me pull out the judge. Maybe pull out it. Yeah, pull out the judge. And once you hear the wall go off, I would recommend popping this barbed wire flash the wing. Get the freezy kill, pick up his weapon, back up, pop this barbed wire, and then you can isolate over here, over here, or over here. Next, we're on Abyss, and I want to say Abyss, I can definitely see Vice having a lot more uh, impact compared to other maps, especially on A. I would say this is actually probably either the best or second best site for, definitely for Vice. So. First off, for wall-wise, a uh, basic wall here yeah, is always wait. okay. Uh, another wall here. Maybe another wall right here that crosses over with some barbed wire here. And maybe like over here or something like that. Next, we're going to do some of these trap plays I'm thinking about. So another trap play I'm thinking about is uh, maybe a wall right here. You'll play back sight. And maybe you throw a cam a flash right there, you play back sight. Maybe have razor wires here to prevent people from pushing across the bridge. Have your flash right here. Walls activate it. Going for the guys are going for the plant. Wall activate it. Pop your razor wires. Flash. Bam. Free easy kill. Now for the flash location wise. Retrieving flash. Honestly, there's not any bad spots like you can go over here. I know you can get some up here. You can also go here, depending on which side they can smoke. No, you can do the here, here. I wouldn't say there's actually that many good walls. I would say here is fine. But then I think even with an updrash and a dash from the jet, I don't think or I don't think, but he might struggle getting past this. Next, um, we'll have maybe maybe a trap wall right here for the judge. Maybe with a razor wire back here to prevent an prevent anybody from peeking back here. So as soon as the wall's tripped, that's an eight. Easy kill with the judge. Pick up their weapon. Maybe go back sight. Maybe somehow have a flash right here and flash. And get an easy kill yeah, and that's pretty much it for trap walls like maybe you can do a wall over here maybe wall trap. and then yeah keep your flash here so when the wall is activated next we got pearl and i know pearl currently is not in the rotation right now however i do have a lot of fun ideas when it comes to pearl so first off especially for a i would definitely throw maybe a wall here Somewhere around here, maybe throw a trip right here, or sorry, a barbed wire here, 
maybe throw a flash over here. Next, we have just the A site itself. And for the A site itself, mm, I would say this basic one right here is pretty good. I wrote, they're going to have a hard time funneling around this wall. So definitely keep it a little bit further out. When it comes to raises, you probably won't catch any raises in particular. But a simple barbed wire here. And maybe uh, another barbed wire over here. With... With maybe... Flash up there. Next, I, I th I'm i thinking of maybe a simple trap play right here. Or... Yeah, I'm thinking a little trap play right here. And like common themes. I like me some trap plays. And then I would throw a barbed wire up here. So once the wall is activated, pop the barbed wire. And so the man the man's trapped right here. Um, I'm pretty sure a simple wall will suffice basically early on, especially in gun rounds. Or let's just say that that most likely if somebody triggers this, they're probably gonna be hiding over here. So most likely I would probably throw a flash up here. Or I throw a flash over here. They give you the ability to more hide. Now, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be mad if somebody threw a barbed wire up here. Because actually, yeah, it's not that good. Actually. Visually, you actually can't see the barbed wire, but it's actually pretty good. And that's basically maybe a, like a simple gun round, I would say. Next for judge plays. Again, I love me some judge plays. Throw a wall here. Maybe throw a barbed wire over here. Bam. Bam. I just like these ones. These are pretty simple. Maybe throw a flash over here. So next we have... Sunset and honestly sunset is probably one of my favorite maps when it comes to vice He has very good um aspects Especially when it comes to the B bomb site I think a B bomb site is probably the best site probably in the game for her in general So the way I'm gonna set up vice is very similar to way I would probably set up cypher on this map So I would probably throw a flash in this window So if I get early information or something like that I would throw basically a basic wall here, barbed wire here, and so once they're entering onto site, balls tripped, bam. However, you know me, I like my trap place, and I'm fine. I think this left. this might be an interesting wall or an interesting strategy. So maybe throw a barbed wire here to prevent anybody from peeking. So maybe I would hide backside here. I would probably pick up my flash, throw it over here. And somebody activates this wall. You know me. I'm going to take a judge. However, this is basically just for anybody who's planting here. So then the same rules apply. So if you want to do a bit better, throw a wall here, keep the same flash, look away. Next we have A. Um, A itself, I wouldn't, it's probably, there's probably some cool things you could, you could probably do, but I'm not going to suggest it's, it's anywhere the best site for you. Definitely this wall is definitely, definitely will protect people from funneling on. This wall will definitely protect any enemies or protect the person playing here from getting like dunked on. Now for another trap play. Actually, not even trap play. You can probably do this in... I actually, I've done this on gun rounds too, within game. Now, the barrier is not up at the time, but so you got to be very quick with this setup. So I would throw a trip right here. Throw a flash here. Barbed wire here. And with a fandle or phantom, as soon as the wall's trapped, bam, bam, bam. Free kill. Next, we got a sense, and I, I want to say this for Vice, a sense is probably going to be a really good map for her, especially with the change with her ult and stuff, and the barbed wires and the and the lack of areas into a specific site on a sense. So, my initial setup that I'm thinking right now is that I like 
I like throwing my wall right here. Throwing a barbed wire right here. Then I'm gonna throw my flash right here. And when on the wall is activated, I pop the barbed wire, pop the flash. Easy kill. Now the trick is how do we do some of these trap plays when it comes to um let's just say defense. Now on this site, it's not gonna be the best, mostly. But I'm pretty sure that covers the whole thing and there might be a small little gap for somebody to peek through here. So my best guess is most likely you want to probably hide on this box in particular with the judge if you're looking for a judge play and then peek through this side. Not this side, mostly because there's a gap. So maybe you can put a barbed wire here. Throw a, let's just say a barbed wire right here. So when you're getting attacked and when you're getting flooded, maybe you can pop a barbed wire here, pop one right here, and once the wall's activated, you peek through this side. Uh, walls back here, I don't think are really worth it. I don't see the use. Maybe a wall like this, actually, to punish anybody who gets over, like, overheats a bit. If you notice any overheat patterns, maybe a wall like this, but I wouldn't say... There's not many trap plays, especially with on B. Mostly just basic, uh, basic wall plays with your basic ARs. Next, I think you got probably got one of the best sites when it comes to. I think this might be in the top three when it comes to the best sites. So first off, you can literally throw your flash anywhere on this back Let's wall here, here, Absolutely. here. It's literally just dealer's choice. So let's just throw a wall here. Um, I got your basic wall set up here, basic wall set up here. If you want to be a little bit ba farther back, that's fine. Again, for trap plays, this is probably my favorite one. This one right here. And all you have to do is hide right here. And once the wall is activated, as you know, you know the person's going to go. There's going to be at least one person going for the switch. And this is the easiest kill in the game. Next, we have Split. Now, Split in particular is not in the rotation at the current moment. So this is actually the first time me actually going onto this map and trying to test stuff out. But at the same moment, on the basic stuff, um, I wouldn't say that's, there's that many good walls on site. This wall might be a little... F actually, this wall is actually enough to... Actually, I like this wall, actually. And this is a pretty good wall. I think that wall is probably better because you can't really throw a wall that goes from yeah. here to here, especially because of the ramp. Next, uh, for trap walls, I think anything back here. These are all good trap walls, especially with judges. That's that's pretty that's pretty much a given. I think you could probably do something like here as well. I wouldn't say that's the best one. Uh, actually, I don't mind this wall in particular. If you're playing here, if you're playing here. Or if you're playing back over here, this wall goes up. You have a flash ready or something like that. Yeah, you have a flash ready. This wall's activated. They're getting flash. Anything for mid though, mid-wise. There's ne never nothing wrong with this cypher trip right here. This is actually a cypher trip itself. So if somebody goes across, easy kill. Nothing wrong to say about that. Same with anything over here. So a wall like this, a wall like this, a wall like this. They're all good walls. I would say, I would say a lot of these are pretty good walls. Um, onto B site in particular, the basic wall for entrance is pretty good. This is a good, pretty good wall to funnel them into this area. I think with a, like a result or something like that or breach aftershock. Um, what else? Uh, this wall is... Ooh, this wall This wall is definitely good. A uh, wall like this is pro, is really good. Especially for trap plays. So I could hide either here or here. All I have to worry about is people funneling through back here. So maybe I'll throw some spikes back here to prevent them from pushing. So bam, I'm hiding, I'm hiding. Walls activated. Easy kill. Now for Icebox, I'm going to particular skip Icebox for this video. In my opinion, uh, Vice is not that good on the map. I would probably prefer just a solo Sentinel on this map. Maybe a kill, most likely a Killjoy. Anything else, 
I think picking Vice in this map is a troll, unless you're a one trick. But for competitive, for ranked, or whatever, pro play, I don't think any meta will change with Vice on this map in particular. Maybe if you want to use her as an initiator, but I am not going to go through the pain of playing out my least favorite map. I'm just saying. And the same thing goes with Breeze. I hate this map with a passion. I think Breeze and Icebox are probably the, easily the worst maps. If you hate Abyss, you're definitely going to hate Breeze for particular different reasons. But besides the point, I don't think Vice... I think you can make an argument Vice will probably be good on this map. I just... I'm just too lazy to do anything. I just hate this map with a passion. Now that is it for the video, everybody. Don't be afraid to hit that like and subscribe down below. Thank you so much for everybody who came out to support this channel and watch the entire video. If you stay tuned until the end, you're definitely a lot more informed of how to play Vice or even how to play against her. So I'll see you next time, everybody. Sorry it took a long time to actually release this video. I wanted to make sure I got all the information I can think about it in this video and put it down into this video. So I'll see you next time. Wow, I just <laughs> spoke a lot there. Peace out. Have a wonderful time. I'll see you next time.